Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to estimate the value of non-perfect square and cube roots. Ben is buying fence to put around his square garden when he suddenly forgets the length. He knows he bought enough soil to cover 90 square feet. How can Ben use this information to determine the length of his garden? Before we help Ben solve his problem, let's take a look at how to estimate a square root. You may recall the square root of some numbers such as 4, 9, 16, and so on. These are called perfect squares because the square root of these numbers are integers. However, what is the square root of a number 15? This number is not a perfect square, and so we will have to estimate its value. Let me show you. To estimate the square root of 15, we will identify the perfect squares that come directly before it and directly after it. We know that 9 and 16 are both perfect squares. Now, let's use the number line so we can really get a visual of the next step. We will plot these numbers on the number line to get as close an estimate as we can. The square root of 9 is equal to 3, so we can plot the square root of 9 here. The square root of 16 is equal to 4, so we plot it here on the number line. Since the square root of 15 comes after the square root of 9, but before the square root of 16, it must lie somewhere between 3 and 4. Since 15 is closer to 16 than 9, my guess is that it will be closer to 4. I'm going to guess it will be about 3.9. And, since most application problems focus on positive integers, I will focus this lesson on only positive integers. Now, I will plug it into my calculator to see the actual square root. You will see that the square root of 15 is an irrational number. It goes on forever without repeating. If I round this number to the nearest tenth, I will get 3.9. Not a bad estimate. We can follow the same process for cube roots. Let's estimate the value of the cube root of 110. We know that perfect cubes that come directly before and after 110 are 64 and 125. The cube root of 64 is 4, and the cube root of 125 is 5. Therefore, the cube root of 110 must lie somewhere between 4 and 5. Since 110 is closer to 125, I will guess that it is approximately 4.8. A check in my calculator shows me the actual value. Notice again that this is an irrational number. Rounding to the nearest tenths place, I see that my estimate was spot on. Estimate the roots below. Be sure to jot down your work. When placing the square root of 75 on a number line, we see that it lies between 8 and 9. My estimate is 8.6. The actual value is 8.66025 and so on. Any estimate close to this number will do. The cube root of 10 lies between 2 and 3 on a number line. My estimate is 2.2. The actual value is 2.15443 and so on. If you are close to this, then you're on the right track. Finally, let's see if we can help Ben figure out how much fencing he will need. Recall, the area of his garden was 90 square feet. If we can estimate the square root of 90, we can get a good idea of the length of one side of his garden. So let's see. The square root of 81 is equal to 9, and the square root of 100 is equal to 10. Since 90 is close to the halfway point between 81 and 100, I'll estimate the square root of 90 to be approximately 9.5. A quick check on my calculator shows that I was pretty close. If each length is approximately 9.5 feet, Ben will need a total of 38 feet of fence. Great! Mm -hmm.